A nation's grief on full display in Humboldt, Saskatchewan last night. The small town torn apart by a bus crash that killed 15 young hockey players. But now, a horrifying realization has come to light. The coroner confirmed today that one of the victims was misidentified. 18-year-old Xavier LaBelle was thought to be among the dead, but he's actually alive and was mistaken for 18-year-old Parker Tobin, who is now confirmed dead. Hockey Night in Canada host Ron McLean went to the hospital yesterday and visited with a mom and dad who believed their child actually survived. Parker Tobin, the goaltender from Stony Plain, Alberta, we thought it survived. In fact, it was uh, Xavier LaBelle. But as we looked at who we thought was Parker Tobin, the mom. So imagine the mom and dad and the brother, they don't know that they're not looking at their own boy, that he he's so severely cut and hurt uh, that they actually think it's possibly their boy. And I, I can remember her. This is Parker saying, the mom saying, he's beginning to look more like our boy. Can you imagine? And it wasn't, of course, their boy. Today, Xavier's school was planning to hold a memorial. Now staff and students are faced with a different set of emotions. It's extremely disturbing, uh, but at the same time, there's uh, there's a, a definite happiness in knowing that Xavier is alive. This is something that came uh, uh, totally unexpected. That was totally unexpected this morning because we were uh, readying to welcome students in a totally different context. Another one of the remarkable stories centers around defenseman Logan Boulay. You may have remembered him from the weekend, the 21-year-old who signed his organ donor card just weeks before this crash. Well, his heart continues to beat tonight, and his family says six others have received the gift of life thanks to Logan's generosity. But not only that, the Canadian press is reporting, and we published the article at citynews.ca, that his story has inspired others to become organ donors. Here's a quote from the article. It says, Ontario's organ donation agency says it saw online registrations nearly triple Sunday compared to two weeks prior. The investigation into the deadly crash could be a long one, according to some experts. The players were on their way to a playoff game in the town of Nipawin when their bus was T-boned by a transport truck carrying Pete Moss. The truck driver was not hurt and was released after being questioned by police. The RCMP say all possible factors are being considered, including driver error and mechanical failure. This broken DVD was found at the site of the wreckage. Look at the title, Slapshot, the classic hockey movie. It starred the Hanson brothers, and today they tweeted out because this tragedy has shaken them to the core as well. They said, it has been brought to our attention that the broken CD of Slapshot was found at the wreck of the Humboldt Strong Team bus. We wish putting on the foil or buying a soda after the game could help, but instead we will reflect and pray God gives peace and comfort during this time.